Renzetti makes vices from entry level workhorses to works of art. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the four different families of Renzetti vices to help you make an informed decision if you're looking to upgrade or buy your first vice. Renzetti's been perfecting fly tying vices for 50 years. They're made in Florida, so they're USA made, super great quality vices, and they have a lifetime warranty as well. The entry level vice series for Renzetti is the Apprentice. And this is an aluminum vise that comes in a C-clamp model as well as a pedestal model. And this C-clamp is ultra lightweight, solid aluminum. This thing is great for travel. You can adjust the angle of the head on here. There's a tension knob to adjust the rotary function. Rotary function is the ability for the vise to spin, but it's not a true rotary and we'll get into that uh, with some of the other Renzetti models. Really the best part about this rotary style vise with this apprentice is the ability just to look at the fly on the other side. When we get into true rotary, it's about uh, applying materials to the hook using the rotary function. If you're just tying trout flies, the apprentice can be a really good choice for you because uh, the hook size, it can handle really small size hooks up to about a size two, uh, which is gonna be much bigger than anything you would ever use for trout fishing. Um, and so this is a great starter vise. The pedestal model, uh, it doesn't have a really heavy pedestal base. Uh, so for streamers, saltwater stuff, it's gonna be a little bit light, but for most of your trout flies, it's gonna be just fine. Next up is the Traveler. And even though this is a little bit more expensive than the Apprentice, uh, we sell way more of these than anything else. This is an excellent vise. Comes in a C-clamp model as well as the pedestal model. And it's an aluminum uh, vise that has been anodized black. Super cool color on it, I love it. Um, it does, it will show some wear over time, but you know, I think that just gives you street cred when it comes to tying. Um, but it has some really great features. Here's the drag knob here that allows you to um, adjust the tension for the rotary uh, feature. It also comes with a bobbin cradle. And so when you're tying uh, rotary style flies, uh, a lot of times you'll tie off with a half hitch and then drape the thread over the bobbin cradle and your bobbin will hang off to the side here. And then you're able to spin the hook and apply the material onto the hook. The jaws hold a large range of hooks. And so if you're tying saltwater flies and streamer flies, uh, it can accommodate some of those as well. Uh, if you're gonna be predominantly tying those, they do make a saltwater jaw available. The next family of Renzetti vices is, are the presentation vices. And there's a 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. And I feel like what you get in the Traveler, you get so much bang for your buck. It's an excellent vice. The upgrade from the Traveler to the 2,000 or 3,000, I don't really find that it's that it's really worth uh, worth the jump until you get to the 4,000. Um, so we don't even stock the 2,000 or 3,000. We only stock the 4,000 in a couple different configurations. And this vice is an incredible vice. <laughs> It's a beautiful vise. Like the Traveler, it has true rotary function to it. But one of the things I really like about this vise, as well as the ones above this, is this one-way like roller bearing uh, that's in here. And so, um, so you can kind of like ratchet this thing around, it makes it really easy to spin it and turn and look at the fly. Or when you're wrapping material on to be able to just really, I mean, it's just so smooth. So smooth, it's just buttery. And on the presentation 4000, there's also two rotary tension functions. So you can really dial in the feel of this vise. Even though the material clip is not an expensive feature, I love that it's included and it's super handy. Now there's several different versions available for this vise. You can get a standard base like on the Traveler. You can get this upgraded anodized base, which I think is a beautiful base. It's a little bit heavier too. You go from two and a half pounds to three and a half pounds. And then there's the C-clamp version available as well. If you're looking for a C-clamp version vise, it is really hard to beat the Presentation 4000. Next up is the Master vise in the Special Edition, as well as the Special Anodized Deluxe version, which I think is super cool. But real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, give the video a like so others can find it too. This vise can tie from a size 28, which is, I mean, I've never tied on a 28 before, but you can tie from a 28 all the way up to a 10 odd. Now, honestly, for me, I tie a whole lot more hooks that are closer to a 10-aught than to a 28, and I love how 
this vise will hold a huge hook and you can really crank down. If you're tying those really tiny little hooks, this vise holds them so well, you don't have to worry about it crimping the hook or damaging the hook. There are not many vices that can properly hold a 28 all the way up to a 10 on. And it's amazing that these can do it. Now, if you're really tying big flies, you're tying billfish flies or maybe stuff for GTs, stuff like that, the presentation can really accommodate up to a four aught. I've tied some six aughts on it. Um, but it's really the master vise that allows you to go after those really big hooks. So on the master vise, not only do you get the jaws that can accommodate all sorts of different hook sizes, but you also get the adjustment of the head angle, which can be really helpful when you're tying those different size hooks. It still has the rotary feature as well, and it's super smooth. The material clip is actually built into the vise instead of it just being uh, kind of hooked on like the the presentation 4000 i mean really the biggest thing is the aesthetic of the master vice is just above all else the special edition deluxe version has this this anodized matte black finish it's like the darth vader of fly tying vices if you're doing photography fly tying photography this vice just photographs beautifully in the master series they have a couple of special uh, anodized colors they have like this really cool blue color as well as a purple color and if you were a big time saltwater streamer junkie and you want a pedestal vise, this base is super heavy, five and a half pounds. This thing, um, and it's extended a little bit longer than the special edition. Um, and so you're able to really crank down on some big flies. And look at this thing, it's, this is, it's incredible. So which vise is the right one for you? Well, it kind of depends on what you're gonna do with it. How much are you gonna tie? Are you just starting off? If you're a beginner and exploring fly tying on a budget, I would say start with the apprentice, especially if you're just doing trout flies, you can always upgrade later. If you do have a couple extra bucks to spend, upgrading from the apprentice to the traveler is a great idea. I think it's worth it to go to the traveler to get that full rotary function, super helpful. If you decide to upgrade later, the Rinzetti stuff has a great resale value. My first vice I started off with was a piece of junk. I upgraded it very soon after getting it uh, because I, I learned real quick that I was gonna enjoy tying flies. You know, this was 25 years ago and you know that thing had no resale value i couldn't even i couldn't give it away i think I, I think i threw it away i'm pretty sure i threw it away if you're an avid fly tire i mean i think you definitely want to start with the traveler or maybe really consider the presentation if you're going to be tying on it for years i mean i i can't imagine how many hours i've logged at the vice and i wish i had upgraded uh, sooner i've kind of stepped it up over the years and i started with the traveler then went to the presentation and then went to the master vice and uh, I kind of wish I had just started with the presentation. And fly tying, it just ends up being almost its own separate hobby. And so if you're really, really diving into it, having a really nice vice just makes such a big difference. Now, if you are passionate about fly tying, I don't know why you wouldn't try to figure out how to get your hands on one of these vices. I think this is a great investment if you are a passionate fly tire because the quality of these things is exceptional. You're gonna have it forever. It, really, the exceptional function materials and the aesthetic you're just going to love tying on this for the rest of your life so there you have it that's the spread of the renzetti vices we have all of these in stock there's links down in the description below if you have questions we would love to hear from you if you don't know whether to get a c-clamp or a pedestal vice make sure to check out our other video that goes over the pros and cons of each thanks for checking out this channel i hope it was helpful we'll see you in the next one